So you're still craving sweets on the ketogenic diet? Well, here are the possibilities. Number one, you are still in a transition phase from sugar burning to fat burning. It takes sometimes three days up to two weeks, sometimes up to a month or more because your body is building new enzymes, new machinery to actually burn fat. And in that situation, if you've never been burning fat your whole life, you've been living on sugar like I was, um, then that means that it's going to take some time. All right, so give it more time. Number two, you need more potassium. Potassium is the key mineral to decrease the need for insulin. It also helps you store glucose in the liver and the muscles, so it really cuts down the sugar cravings, okay? So you can either get that from vegetables or as a supplement, okay? Number three, if you crave chocolate, you need magnesium. So just get it as a supplement or have some chocolate, but make sure that it's not right before bed and make sure it's sugar-free, all right? If you crave the bread or the pasta, that could mean that you need more B vitamins, so nutritional yeast. I like to put that in almond butter. Uh, or it could be just a habit that you just see this incredible dessert and you just are so used to eating it. Maybe you might not crave it. You just want it because it gives you pleasure. So there's a difference between uh, craving, have to have it, versus, oh, I would really enjoy that if I ate that right now. Okay, so you have to distinguish because this could be a habit because you've been doing it for a long time. The last one is liver dysfunction. If the liver is either fatty or it has cirrhosis, scar tissue, um, it's going to affect the blood sugars because you don't have the capacity to hold the stored sugar between meals. You don't have the capacity to make the IGF number one, that's the insulin-like growth factor number one, which is a hormone that helps regulate sugar between the meals and it also helps you mobilize fat you might need to build up that liver. So you want to support the liver with certain nutrition. I think um, I'm going to put a link down below and the nutrients that you need to support the liver are the same nutrients that support insulin dysfunction. Okay? So go ahead and uh, put some attention on that if you need to and put your comments below.